Figures from across the insurance industry and the Financial Services Commission suggest more Barbadians are embracing the message to insure their properties. That revelation from the president of the General Insurance Association of Barbados, Randy Graham. He says it's an encouraging sign since government has already signaled it cannot foot the rebuilding costs for individuals as it did previously. What we have seen, if you look at the last statistics from the Financial Services Commission, um, I think about 60,000 policies has been issued on, on property across uh, across the country. Now, if you go to the Statistical Services uh, 2020 census, at least what is published, uh, we see uh, they say about 73,000, 74,000 private homes are in Barbados. If you add uh, the commercial properties to that that we have in Barbados, our rough estimate is it could be anywhere between 110 and 120,000 pro properties in Barbados. Uh, so. Um, in any event, although we are increasing and people are taking more responsibility to get insurance on their property to cover against the hurricane, we're still at about 50%, I would say, uh, of the properties in Barbados that, that carry insurance. The association president has some advice for property owners who may not be certain about the value of their property and possible replacement costs. You know, if you're not certain what the value of your house is or what it will cost to be built today, and we're not in a position to get an official valuation, uh, what you can do is take the square footage of your house uh, and multiply that by what the average building cost is today. Uh, that building cost can vary uh, now between two fifty and five hundred dollars. But if say your house is a thousand square foot and you take a three uh, three hundred dollars per square foot rebuilding cost, uh, we're talking about you will need three hundred thousand dollars to rebuild your house today. Mr. Brennan is also cautioning people against thinking that Barbados will always be spared. He says recent history is proving otherwise and it will only take one hurricane to devastate the island. So we just want to encourage Barbados, whatever your choice is um, uh, for your financial and other preparation for the hurricane season, make it a formal choice among your home uh, to protect yourself for the hurricane season and take the period between June 1st and November 30th uh, serious that we can have natural catastrophes and do not take it lightly. And um, I think that that, that would what we would we would want for our country uh, for persons to take the hurricane season seriously. The 2024 hurricane season started on June 1st and will end on November 30th. Trevor Thor, CBC News.